Here we will show how to start up a new data file in Mesquite, uh, and this is doing it from scratch by hand. Um, many of you will be interested in importing data from elsewhere, but that will be the subject of another video. So here we have Mesquite open, uh, and I go to the File menu, New, and ask to create a new data file. And it asks me, first of all, what to call it. And these, by default now, in version 2.75, are Nexus files. And so I'm going to call this Spiders. And I'm going to save it there, and it's going to ask me now how I want to set up the file initially. Now I don't need to fill it with anything, but uh, if uh, I do, I can start off making a block of taxa, which is the set of species or gene copies that we're going to be talking about when we look at phylogenies and evolution. Um, and I'm going to call this just spiders, and let's say that there are four of those. Uh, and optionally we can include a character matrix, and I'll do that, make a character matrix, and do that, and it'll now ask me more details about the character matrix. And this will be just, we'll just call it features, and we'll just make two characters, and it'll just be standard categorical data. So now we do that, and this is what we get. We get our uh, project window, our file, uh, showing us um, what we've got in it so far, and on the left-hand side is the special project panel that indicates what are the components of the project or the file. And so we've got uh, spiders listed here, this is the block of taxa, four taxa. We've got features listed here, and this is a matrix of two characters. Um, these various icons allow us to do things like to show the matrix or list and manage the taxa, but at the right here is the matrix itself, and uh, by default the uh, Names of taxa just start off taxa 1, 2, 3, 4, but we can rename them, and I can do that just by choosing the I-beam cursor here and going down here and saying big spider, tiny spider, uh, furry spider, friendly spider. Okay, and we can also name the characters such as furriness, size, and so we can call this a 1, a 0, a 0, 1, and we can call this um, 0, 0, 2, and 1, and so forth. So we've now made our little matrix, uh, and um, there we go. We can save the file, and that's it.